So I was at the uh, the other card last week, so I didn't get to, to see you, but uh, I did want to check in with you afterwards. I mean, I know it was a kind of a, another frustrating result for you. Talk about now, if you, after you've had a couple of days to reflect, what did you think about your performance and the, and the scoring? Yeah, uh, I watched the fight back. And I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, everyone knows that I struggle with guys running, going backwards, and points going. And with being not the tallest guy, I don't have range, I don't have height. And I use my counter punching, slipping and ripping, and people know how to beat us is not to fight us. And unfortunately, people are more bothered about squeaking a win from a decision point of view than actually coming out and fighting, testing themselves against top talent, you know? And I'm, I turn up to every fight to fight. Um, I'd rather get knocked out in the middle of the canvas than, than have a fight what I won by running. Um, I'm pretty disappointed that that's what the sport and fighters in the division are. Like, Stevie Ray is going to go away saying this is the biggest win of his career. And did he win? No, we didn't even have a fight. Um, it was, I think it was a, a level playing field. One judge had me winning all three rounds and two judges had me winning no rounds. Um, if you could look back at the fight and you look at what I would class as significant strikes, nothing really landed. I mean, I've got a little scuff here. Um, I landed a few good body shots. Um, what do you call a significant strike? Is it a significant strike where it lands cleanly? I mean, he was throwing head kicks, yes, but going backwards and I wasn't eating the head kicks. I wasn't taking head kicks. I was blocking the head kicks. So does that count as a significant strike? I don't know. It's, I don't know what the judges are looking for. I would, after my career is done and I'm finished with fighting, I would like to be <laughs> like an ambassador of someone to teach these judges what they're actually looking at and what they're looking for. And um, because I think it's shocking right now. I've lost probably five fights in the UFC, not from losing a fight because the guy was better than us and he whipped my ass. I was losing a fight because three judges didn't know what they were scoring. And uh, I, I just feel disappointed. I'm a little bit uh, disheartened. Not about my own ability because I know in my ability, I've been here for eight, nine years that I can fight the best fighters in the world. And if it comes down to the, the realness of having a fight, I can fight. I just struggle with guys who don't come to fight and, and choose to play that game where they don't want to get hit, they don't want to get taken down. It's, it's hard to, for me to do anything offensive when they're just not engaging. I would like to see the yellow card come back, um, the, 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 the deduction of the purses for, for an election. I, I got into this sport and I signed up for this sport because I wanted to test myself against the best. I wanted to fight the best. And I'm fighting guys that's not fighting. I'm, I'm fighting four guys and, and the judge has been three of them, do you know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's very frustrating. Um, I don't know what's next. I don't know what to do. I, I keep feeling like I need to change something about what I'm doing in training. But I, I was on that night. I felt so good going into that fight. Um, I was up for it. I, I thought the way Stevie was talking before the fight as if he was like an English and Scottish war. He's the brave heart. He's William Wallace. He's going to come and try and slay us. Do you know what I mean? And, and I was up for it. I was like, yeah, this kid's going to have it. And I said to him at the weigh-ins, I was like, just let's have it. Let's go. You win. Congratulations. You know what I mean? It's, you'll move forward in your career. You, you go in there and knock me out in, in the first round. Is he going to move forward on a, on a fight like that? Who wants to see that? You know what I mean? And, I, and this is what I'm going to have to think in my next few fights, if the UFC even give us more fights, is am I going to take this fight because I'm going to lose another decision where it's not even a fight or I'm going to, I want to fight guys that's going to come at me and fight and have a fight. I'm not saying I just want to fight a striker who's just going to come and strike. I want to fight the best, whether it's the best wrestler, whether it's the best grappler, at least he's coming to fight and beat me at what he's best at, not beat me at a technically just picking and choosing what you're doing, do you know what I mean? And it just, it's just frustrating, man. I, uh, it hurts us right now. But you still have a desire, because you know, I read your quote that you gave to the UFC afterwards, and the way I read it, you know, kind of knowing you, it sounded like you know, maybe you were having a moment where you're like, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this, you know, because it, it was like, I've, I've got to yeah. think about it. So was there a moment where you're yeah. like... I was just pure disheartened, just like disappointed, that, um, not disbelief, but like, like, what am I doing, do you know what I mean? How many times can I keep doing this to myself? I don't want to be a fighter that goes out on like six, seven, eight, nine losses, do you know what I mean? What, 
it would be different if I was getting hurt. It would be different if I'm getting taken out. It would be different if I'm getting outclassed. I haven't even been hitting any of these fights, you know what I mean? I'm literally getting hit. I'm coming away unhurt. That's why I've been able to fight five times this year. And it's, it's not a fight. If you have five fights in a year in the top level and they're real fights, your body ain't gonna make it, you know what I mean? And it's just, I was, I was upset, I was frustrated. I was like wanting to just have it out at the back. I was ready to go again, do you know what I mean? I was just, I was, yeah, I was literally so upset. I could have took my gloves off and thrown them down and said that was it, I'm finished. But that's not me, I'm, I'm a fighter and bad shit happens. And I come back from it. I still believe that you put me in there with the best guys, and then the best guys come to fight. You'll see the best rush pace, and you'll see the best fights, and that's what I want. You know what I mean? I'll be I'll be more content and happy if I fought the best, and we went out and fought and had it, and the guy beat us, and I'll be like, well done, mate. You you were the best man on the night there. You done the best things. You took me out. You beat us. Congrats. It's just so frustrating to lose the way I'm losing, and. I'm trying, like people are saying, oh, you, you've lost your KO power, you've lost your aggression, you've lost your will to fight. And it's not, like, I'm trying, do you know what I mean? Like, what, am I, what extra can I do? I can't grow any taller, I can't stretch my arms out any longer. I, I, I haven't got that natural, uh, the, the attributes, you know what I mean? I've got to deal with what my body's trying, I'm trying to do it, but they're just fighting that way, which is frustrating. So with all that in mind, Ross, who do you want next? Is there someone out there that won't run away from you? Yeah, there's a lot. There's Nate Diaz, Eddie Alvarez, Desanos, the top guys in the division. And I, and, and I know, like, in, in, in the pattern of the fighting in the UFC, you've got to deserve to get to this level. You're winning fights, you're putting fights on, you're like that. You've got to deserve your shot to get to fight the best. But I, I, I feel like my, uh, I'm not that I'm getting cheated, but I feel like I'm getting, like, it's just not going my way. It's the, 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 way, the, the way the fighters are, are approaching the fights against us is just spoiling it for everyone, for, for, for the fans, for the, for the UFC, for me, for, for themselves. Like, cause who wants to see fighters fight like that? And it's just depressing.